So just in case you missed the live yesterday, I'm going to give you the highlights. On Tuesday, we do What's Wrong with the Bible. Yesterday, we did Deuteronomy 21 and 22. You got to like the channel and subscribe if you want to get the notifications. But those two verses, one of the things that we focused in on is the fact that women should walk away from the book, from the Bible, because this God just hates women, plain and simple. It just does. One of the stories in Deuteronomy 21 talks about the fact that um, when the Israelites are in battle and if they look across the battlefield and they saw a woman that looked good, you know, she got that pretty brown skin, she fine as hell, and they like her and they want to take her as a wife, that they can take her. And that they shave her head, cut her fingernails down, strip her of her clothes, go let her stay with her mom and daddy for a month. Then after that, he can go into her, get that poom poom, make her his wife. But if he finds that he is dissatisfied with her, then he has to let her go wherever she wants to go. And he cannot uh, make her into a slave because he's already uh, disrespected her. I think it was kind of disrespecting. The fact that this woman just watched her family and friends get murdered, death killed, and then you're going to force her to have sex with you to make her your wife. And then you don't like the poom poom. Damn it. But let's be real. If a woman is a slave captive of a war, you think she's going to give you some good poom poom? Nah. So that's one reason why. That's one. Another thing that we talked about in there that was very disrespectful to women, it says that if a man has two wives, which says that polygamy is okay, but if a man has two wives and he hates the first wife, but he likes the second wife, but if the first wife has a son before the second wife has a son, then he is to pay the son double the inheritance of the second wife because he hates the first wife. So a son's inheritance becomes based on whether or not the husband likes the first wife or hates the first wife, which is stupid. And we're going to come back to that one in a minute. And then another thing we talked about is that, for, and this is in 22, if a man marries a woman and then claims that she is not a virgin after marriage, that if the father produces the token that shows that she was a virgin, and many of you right there say, well, what's the token? So here's what goes down. A woman is supposed to be a virgin when she gets married, but if, and when, and when they go into the marriage bed, he lays down a piece of linen up under her poom poom. When he get it, if the hymen don't break and blood comes onto the piece of linen and then she takes that linen and give it to her father. I'm sorry, but me as a father, I don't want my daughter handing me a bloody piece of linen. But that's the token. So then the father presents the token to the elders. If the elders say, no, nah, she, she was a virgin. Then the man is to be beaten with a whip, pay the father another hundred, piece, uh, another hundred pieces of silver, and then... That woman has to still stay married to this man that on their wedding night accused her of being a hoe. But now if the young lady has found that she had been hoeing around and gave up the poom poom before she got married, the elders are supposed to take her to the city gates wall and then all the men of the town are supposed to stone her to death with stones. It keep on saying stone her with stones, but if you're stoning somebody, I think you only can have stones when you stone somebody. But then she gets killed. So the agency of a woman is not there at all. I'm going to give you two more and then we're done and you have to come and be on the live to get the rest of it. If uh, a woman who is married, betrothed to another man, and she is raped by another man, if she's in a city and she doesn't scream out, then the man and the woman has to be killed. So I've talked to many women who have been essayed and that is not a great thing. And some of them went into shock and didn't scream or anything. But according to this, if a woman doesn't scream for help, then she is complicit in her essaying. That's fucked up. Take away all the agency of a woman right there. You have to be a certain type. Now, if it happens in the countryside, then the woman is free because she doesn't have to be killed because nobody was there to hear her cry. But if a woman is not betrothed to a man and is essayed by another man, then that man only has to pay the father 50 pieces of silver. And then the woman has to marry her rapist. And he can't ever divorce her. So let's take the rape victim and force her to marry the man who raped her. And they have to stay married for the rest of their life. And then, of course, you know, he'll probably go get a second wife and probably hate the first wife and then have to pay a bigger inheritance to the first son. You see, I connect right there. You see, how I did that. Yeah. So those are some of the things we went over and we went over a bunch of other things like not mixing linen and how people use that to say interracial marriage is uh, wrong and all these other sorts of things that this Bible just goes through that. Uh, is so jacked up. This is why we do the series of what's wrong with the Bible. We've done everything from Genesis all the way up to Deuteronomy 21 and 22. You can go to my YouTube page, 
which is youtube.com Lorenzo Reed, L A R E N Z O R E I D, or What's Wrong with the Bible? I mean, Why I Left the Bible with Coach Renz. You can find the playlist and you can find all of those there. But like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube. That way you'll be able to follow all the lives. And we do the lives here on TikTok as well, but TikTok don't save lives. So y'all have a great day. And always remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.